Hanging out with NJIT men's basketball head coach Grant Billmeyer is with us. We are in the preseason. Coach, thanks so much for uh, for being with us. It's now about six months or so into your tenure here at NJIT, a little bit in the spring, a full summer, part of this preseason. Let's check in. Where is, uh, where is the group? What are your uh, what are your observations? I've been ecstatic with the energy the guys have brought. Um, it's, it's a mixture of really old guys and really young guys, but they really like each other and they really enjoy being around each other's presence. Let's talk about some of those really old guys, as yep. you say. Let's start with the, some of the returning players, also some graduate transfers in there as well. What does that group look like, and who's been standing out to you and the staff? I think Makai Gray's been phenomenal. He, he's really stepped up. You know, I kind of talked to him about when you're, you know, you're a senior. When you're a senior, you go all in, all in with everything you do, and he's been phenomenal. He, he hasn't taken a playoff you know, since we've been here, and I've been ecstatic about where he is and where I think he can go this year. Adam Hess, uh, he had a minor surgery in August after we got done summer workouts. Um, so he's kind of just getting back to being himself. You know, a Adam's a weapon. He he's an unbelievable shooter, and I'm a guy that likes to utilize the three balls. So um, even when Adam's not at 100%, I think he'll be a major weapon for us and a guy that teams are going to have to pay a lot, a lot of attention to when they're scouting, scouting us. Um, Kel, Kel has looked very good. You know, I think what I'm going to use Kel for is the strength. Kel's a, you know, European five man. So he, that means he can shoot the basketball, he can pass the basketball, he can dribble the basketball. Um, Justin Anderson is another guy that's going to be able to make shots for us. Elijah Buchanan is, you know, he, he was playing very well last year at Mahan before he got hurt. But I think Elijah could have a very good year for us. And then his teammate coming over from Mahan, Dan Schreier, he's been a breath of fresh air. Just an older guy, extremely physical. He brings it every day on the court. Uh, Coach, how about some of the uh, the newcomers in terms of the the freshmen, the true freshmen? Yeah. It's a it's a large group. What's uh, what stood out about the group, or, or maybe uh, some individuals? Oof, that's uh, there, there, there's a lot of them. There, there, there's nine of them, so it's going to be hard to single everyone out. But I've uh, been very ecstatic. It's uh, a group that comes in. A lot of them have winning pedigrees. They all they've all come in. They're all excited to be here. They're all excited to take this program to another level. So I've been ecstatic about each of them and their work ethic. Um, probably about three or four of them will play for us early on. Um, I think they all have a great understanding of the game. They all compete at the level that I want them to, even though they're freshmen, but because they've come from winning high school programs and they've been taught on the, the work ethic and the, how you got to prepare and how you got to practice every day. They're far, behind, they're far ahead of most high school, most college freshmen. In terms of what the schedule looks like. We know the America East schedule. We know the, the double round robin format and all that. But non-conference, yeah. home opener against St. Peter's, a team that you know made some big waves a couple years ago. And you've also got a trip to Miami. Do those stand out? Do others stand out? What do you look for there? I, th I think every game to me is big. You know, that's just how I approach it. The, the next game is the biggest game. Um, obviously, we got a chance to play a team coming off a of Final Four that brings back the majority of their team. That had a really good transfer, Matthew Cleveland from Florida State. So it's a team that could potentially go to back-to-back -back Final Four. So we'll get tested early on with that. And then, you know, we come here, we have the home opener. We play against St. Peter's. And, you know, you look at the rest of the schedule. You know, you're at George Mason. You're at Fordham. You're at Wake Forest. So you're, you're playing, a, you know, the, the best of the best in college basketball this year. And something I'm really excited about. And, you know, I think we're going to have up and down non-conference. We're going to get tested. But I think by the time conference play rolls around, if we can continue to get better every single day and we can stay healthy, I, I really like where our team are going to be at come February and March. And to conclude, in order for that success to be seen on the court, what, what do you think has to happen and what will that look like for NJIT men's basketball here this upcoming season? The biggest thing is uh, the excitement and the energy that we have in the gym last week and the first week of practice, that's how I want our gym to look in March. I want it to be a loud gym. I want people to come in the gym and know what our identity, know, know what we stand for, know what we're going to be about, and not just a team that just shows up and plays the game, but we have a certain identity. I want our identity to be on display every time we put on that game jersey and every time we put on that practice jersey. Grant Billmeyer, the head coach of NJIT men's basketball.